Hey Sainers, welcome back to the Saints TV YouTube channel. Welcome to another training update video. Thanks again to an amazing Sainter who went today, got a lot of amazing footage and provided some very, very important notes ahead of, you know, the home stretch of real preseason training in the next couple of weeks before we get into some of the Pracky games and then obviously round one on the 19th of March, which is not far away at all. So in terms of training today, it was a bit of a a different sort of look uh, because I believe the boys are going on a training camp, a two-day training camp this week around the Ballarat to Bendigo area. So there were some notable absentees today. Um, in terms of not training on the track, about 25% of players, which is a fair chunk. The usuals that were missing were King, Hayes, obviously Allen and Hotton. Um, others were DMAC, Membry, Keeler, Campbell and Patton. Running and on light duties, Clark, Filippo, and Connolly. Um, certainly our bigs, you know, by the looks of training, are absolutely decimated. There's not a lot of them left. So for the, those of them that are there, please do stay fit for the next month and a half. It's great to see in match sim and general training those who have been doing a lot of running since December around the boundaries. That was Coffield, Jones, Gresh, JB, Battle, Adams, McLennan, and Wood. So those are those are the guys that are really pushing it. Uh, which is great, and obviously, you know, JB in there, we've talked about him quite a bit. We want him to have a really good year. It's great to see that, you know, he's looking really fit and firing, and, and same with Jones. That's really important that we get a fit and firing Zach Jones for 2023. Training was general contested work, 6v3 defensive plays, mid-stoppage work taking the ball forward. Rowe is dominating Max Heath in the ruck. He's got some deft taps to the on-ballers. He's just too strong at the moment. Around the ground, the on-ballers are working well as a team through congestion. As said, in some of the drills, the kick forward was high to create a contest. Forward line looks light on with the big guys, obviously. Today was Machido, Sharman, uh, new Tony, and no memory today. Um, obviously, Tony, we'll talk about a bit later. Anthony... Caminiti, I believe, the, the boy from uh, Carlton that we're looking to get, hopefully. It's interesting to see, come practice games, how the forwards will actually work. Quite inexperienced, especially if we go up against, you know, the likes of Melbourne or Geelong, who have uh, some fairly decent back lines and obviously fairly decent forward lines in their own right. Brad Hill was busy and is having a very, very good preseason. Burns with Windy, Seb, Crouch, Steele getting amongst it. Nice to see JB battle and Jones getting back involved in contested work. Finished with leading and passing, goal kicking by the forwards. Plenty of videos on that. Then a solid run session, goal post to goal post. 28 to 30 of the guys did this, as a few dropped out from the final session to preserve their legs. The new guy, Anthony Caminiti, aka Tony, is a big boy. You know, there's I think there's side-by-side -side footage of him against Van Ez, and Van Ez is notably a very big unit as well. He took a really good contested mark, in match sim against Dukes, Rowe, and Max Heath, it was a fairly big clunk. There's um, there's a good piece of footage on that as well. He got a few congrats after that play. A lot of boys were very, very impressed with him. So he's got two weeks to impress, um, to get on the list, and that's the first big call for Stephen Silvani. going to be interesting to see what happens in the next couple of weeks with Anthony Caminiti. Good luck to him. Uh, he looks a good project player, and obviously there's some potential there, but it just depends on whether we need someone that can come in straight off the bat and play round one, or we're willing to, to invest in someone like him that we can, I guess, let him play at Sandy and um, and develop that way. But our needs are we need tools you know, ASAP, and we need tools that can come in and, and actually play AFL footy pretty quickly. So it's going to be a big call whether we take him or whether we don't. But hopefully in the next two weeks, he can really stake his claim down and um, and impress the coaches. Now, in terms of the camp, as I mentioned at the top, uh, I believe there's a two-day camp happening this week, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, so no training, obviously, Wednesday. And then Friday, I think the boys will be back at RSEA. I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks again to, to an amazing Sainer who's, who's really been a big help putting these videos together and going to training and being the inside scoop for, for Saints TV. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoy these videos, enjoy the footage, enjoy the notes, uh, please like the video, comment your thoughts as well, and most importantly, subscribe. We're nearly on, I think, 5,500, but we want to get to 10,000 this year. So if you're a Saner, you enjoy these videos, and you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe and join the Saints TV Army on YouTube. So I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks again for watching, and as always, go you mighty Saners. See you guys.